Hey there, everybody. Step right back into the crypto rush, the place where all your crypto needs are met. Ripple Van Winkle here, your host. I hope this day is treating everyone wonderfully. Every passing day brings us one step closer to the bull run, and Wednesday, August 21st is no exception. You won't want to miss it tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Keep it in mind. Live video. Streaming of classic rips on YouTube time ticks by on Twitter and I believe we even include Twitch. Regarding multi-stream systems, I am utterly confused, therefore you are free to select the platform from which you like to listen to me. We'll review the latest crypto news and market developments. We will begin taking live calls around 20 minutes before the end of the broadcast. Give or take an hour is about right for the show. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to call in. Now that we know what's happening, we may examine price charts to determine what's happening. Although, hasn't the market been dull as of late? As previously said, we are currently in the accumulation zones, which are characterized by big chops. The market is choppy, so feel free to do as you like. The terrain is very flat. However, the upward trend is on the horizon and will be visible soon. We expect Bitcoin to make a strong move to around 74,000, which will signal the next push-ups in this area. In order for XRP to make its next push-up, we know it must first break above 75 cents in addition to 66 cents. It's all on its way. Time will bring it all. It appears to be happening later than expected, even though many were hoping it would happen sooner. We still expect all coins to be ready for 2025, as we said in the sharing before. However, Bitcoin will still have a banner year in 2018. We are examining the price of Bitcoin. The value of $59,450 has decreased 2% over the last day. Next in line for Ethereum is $2,583. A decline of 2.67% has been recorded. XRP is a nasty lean 59 cents, guys, while USDT and USDC both come in at 90.99 cents. It has essentially maintained its position in the 0.596 to 60 cent range for the last two days. In the last day, it has lost 1.6% of its value. The whole value of all cryptocurrencies is $2 trillion, $121 billion. After this, what's our next move? It appears that we will still be chopping. It is likely that we will, I believe these markets will respond as the election draws near and especially if Trump is elected, there will be a big wave of reactions from these markets because of his stance on cryptocurrency. At that moment, Gensler would be known to us. But hey, at least the SEC will have a fresh face if Harris wins. We saw that she wants to promote Gary Gensler, which is bad for everyone. Be prepared for some. Bumpy road ahead. I am at a loss for words. However, Bitcoin this year, 100,000 is going down. This story was released earlier today and we have received it. As interest in Bitcoin ETFs wanes, several measures point to lackluster demand for the cryptocurrency. Demand appears to have dropped significantly since early April and has gone negative so far this month, according to the report. Metrics like CryptoQuad's demand have shown negative growth since early April. And this is on top of the data that shows a considerable decrease in Bitcoin demand, mirroring a rise in sales. Even while there are warning signs, some metrics are still strong. Bitcoin holdings by long-term investors are at an all-time high. The aggregate market capitalization of stablecoins reached a new record high, indicating heightened liquidity due to price increases that have historically occurred. The increase of ETF inflows in large investor holdings however, has significantly decelerated. Hello everyone, to reiterate, I am going to get even with you if you even entertain the slightest notion that the average person sold their shares in these cryptocurrency marketplaces to large financial entities. It was a complete bust. It is completely improbable. How are they managing to do it with four at once? They are attempting to maintain as low prices as possible so that institutions may accumulate as they are aware that in a few months, or even six months to a year, these prices will be completely non-existent. They will be very different from where they are now. Consequently, what must the institutions do concurrently? They should stock up as much as possible while keeping costs down. They can start selling after that. As soon as we touch down on the moon, specifically its upper half, I'll tell you that right now. Every, every bit of. It will be thrown away. Digital currency. It surges beyond 61,000 as XRP outpaces the majors in terms of growth. Investors may be anticipating market shifts in the days leading up to Friday when Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell is expected to deliver a speech at the Jackson Hole Symposium. On the Asian trading days, this Bitcoin was trading at a price exceeding 61000 In preparation for the release of Jerome Powell's speech, the crowd is gathered. So yet, Bitcoin hasn't behaved very favorably in this regard. Solana's down. XRP down a little. Now, take a look at what we had. We had that huge decrease in crypto around three weeks ago. It wasn't a crash, just a dip. 
Nervousness and panic spread over the entire group. It was so bad that it jolted several individuals out of their jobs. We returned to the levels prior to those dips approximately 48 hours after that. This thing we call crypto is an emotional roller coaster, I tell you. Selling the green and buying the red is the simplest part to grasp here. Crypto is a child's play, I can tell you that much. It's a really easy game. You simply manage your emotions to some extent. You can steer clear of the emotional roller coaster that is the current market situation if you can master your emotions. This paper has some interesting potential if I were to publish it. The Swiss banking system activates its fast payment services. Customers in Switzerland may reportedly send and receive payments in a matter of seconds because to the widespread adoption of instant payments in the banking sector. Approximately 60 banks can currently accept and handle quick payments encompassing over 95% of all retail payment transactions in Switzerland. Every single bank that processes retail payments will be approachable by the year 2026's end. We can see this being used already, you know, I can already feel this having an impact. Which one is the starting point? Quick and easy payouts, we have already discussed this, we felt that we had hammered that point home enough for everyone to get it. So we kind of veered off topic. In the absence of immediate payment, it is impossible to have an instant settlement. Therefore, the immediate payment is the most important. What on earth is going on here? 60 different banks can now accept quick payments. And that sums up 95% of all retail payments made in Switzerland. You will receive your payment immediately. You transfer them to. The instant settlement after the instant payment is operational and functioning properly. Without settlement, folks, you cannot get a fast payment. So that's our next step. We are all aware that Dilip Rouse revealed the Ripple and XRP Holy Grail, aren't we? To begin, convince them to switch to the digital track. After they've hopped on the digital rails, have them slowly add XRP to their workflows rather than holding any at the moment. You should then instruct them to hold XRP once they notice its effectiveness. It is sacred. The Holy Grail is bestowed by Dilip. For each of these payments, the procedure is same. Insist that they switch. To real-time payments, whether it's near or instantaneous, you should assist them in transitioning to real-time settlements once they have mastered real-time payments. The video that has everyone so worked up about is this one, and for some reason it has everyone so worked up. I just don't understand why, alright? Rural Paul here, allow me to perform for you. Then, before we play, allow me to summarize. You have 58 seconds. He used derogatory language, albeit I'm not. Sure if it qualifies as derogatory, his opinion of XRP and ABA is negative. For some inexplicable reason, this is making folks quite anxious. I don't understand why, but I need you to hear this because I have something hilarious to show you. You may remember XRP from its days at Tubal Markets. Maybe you're correct. Maybe you'll adore it for the rest of time. Please just go with the flow. Of great momentum. It will be the big one this time. I know that much. Stay in the present and don't miss the bull market. You'll receive lots of notifications when you return. And there are enormous communities. Being a cult does you a disservice, and I don't want to face online backlash for saying this. It is our duty to serve as mercenaries. We are not a cult. We are in this to earn money. Members of cults are the only ones who benefit financially, so I'm sorry to break it to you, but there are a lot of these Kidano, XRP, etc. I hope you're correct, but if he suddenly starts referring to them as old technology or old coins, people will start to worry out because they think they should be going elsewhere. Rest assured, there is absolutely no cause for concern. Remember when Rural Paul announced his full support for XRP a little over a year ago? He sees real-world applications and a thriving ecosystem for XRP, so he's betting big on it. Then there's this little thing that everyone should stay away from. 